Peace, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Alcatel C17 Pro on the right and on the left we have the Moto G Stylus. So we're going to compare these two devices. This one is about 149 US and the Moto G Stylus is actually 299 US. So if this is something that interests you, make sure you stay locked in so you can see the full comparison. I'll see you guys right after this. Peace. Now it's very interesting. We do have a 6.35 inch display on the Alcatel C17. And we do have a 6.4 inch display on the Moto G uh, stylus. So as you can see, they do have punch hole cutouts on the front. And there's going to be a difference a little bit when it comes to the punch holes displays on the front. Now you are getting a 5 megapixel front facing camera on the Alcatel C17 Pro. And on the Motorola G Stylus, you are getting a 16 megapixel camera. But when it comes to the overall screen display, that's where they actually differ a lot. So I want to talk about that in a little bit more detail. So you're getting 300 pixels per inch on the Moto G Stylus, which is going to be a substantially large um, amount of pixels compared to the C17 Pro. Because on the C17 Pro, we are getting a really good um, display. But the only thing is that you're getting, instead of the uh, large amount of three, like almost 400 pixels per inch on the uh, display here for the Moto, for the uh, Alcatel, when it comes to the pixel per inch, we're getting 271, 271. So um, you can see we do get that Moto display. We also do get some type of display here, which does give us our, 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 our uh, notifications as well. Uh, it's a little bit different. It's not as good as the motor display where you can interact with it, but it only happens when you get a notification. But uh, you can see both displays look really nice. We have a 720 display on the Alcatel C17 Pro where we have a full HD display on the Motorola. Now, they do claim to have uh, plastic materials on the back on the on the website as well as they say a 6000 um, aluminum frame series which actually feels the same exact um, to me material as the back so in my opinion you're getting the, the plastic on the sides and railing and back and also you're getting front glass which is going to be really um, you know really nice on both devices so we are getting IPS LCD dis displays as well on both devices so um, that's you know normal for this price point, two ninety nine for the Moto G stylus, and for the Alcatel C seventeen Pro, um, you're getting um, you know um, some some really good glass on there as well. So I would assume both of these have Gorilla Glass three. Now, when it comes to the processors, we have a six hundred series right here on the Moto G stylus. We have a six hundred sixty five, which is an eleven nanometer processor. So that's actually crazy because it's going to be pretty powerful. And with the Alcatel C17 Pro, we're actually getting a 16 nanometer processor. So the difference between them is that both basically when it comes to the Alcatel, you're getting a Helio, the MediaTek Helio P23 6763V um, SOC chip. And it has uh, basically it has a Cortex A53 inside of it. ARM Cortex uh, system with the ARM Mali G71. Now, with the uh, Moto G Stylus, you are getting the Snapdragon 665 processor, which is octa core, and it has a S Adreno 610, which is a lot better. You're getting 64 gigabytes of RAM plus 4 gigabytes of internal storage on the Alcatel C17 Pro. And when it comes to the Moto G Stylus, we are getting 128 gigabytes of internal, um, 128 gigabytes of internal storage and um, four gigabytes of memory. So both phones are really snappy when you are using them. They're extremely really, um, they're both really, really good. They have that display, which is gonna be 720 versus the 1080, which is mainly the biggest difference. One thing to note is that the punch hole does appear a little bit bigger on the Alcatel, but not by much. They're about the almost exact same size, so you're not gonna really experience any differences when it comes to that punch hole, except for the camera quality. So let me just take a quick selfie so I can show you how both of these phones take a selfie, and um, we'll see which one actually takes the better shot when it comes to the, the camera right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a selfie on these um, cameras, and it's probably going to be the Moto G stylus just to be honest but
Okay, my hand kind of shook there, but overall, when it comes to the selfies, you're getting a 16 megapixel versus a 13 megapixel. And you can see this, my hand shook when I took the picture on the Orcatel, but we're getting a really clear picture on the Moto G stylus. So I would definitely um, recommend if you want a better camera to get the action camera on the G stylus, but it's going to be actually $150 more because it's double the price basically. But um, we are getting a 48 megapixel camera on, that is the main camera on the um, Moto G stylus right here, 48 megapixels, a 60 megapixel camera and a two megapixel uh, for, uh, which is a macro that camera. This is an ultra wide and this is a wide angle right here so we got ultra wide and wide and then you also got on the um Alcatel you got a 16 megapixel camera on the actually an 8 megapixel camera I believe on the back of that one so basically when it comes to comparing these two camera systems um you're definitely getting a, a better camera experience when it comes to the Motorola because you're getting um that wide angle ultra wide plus the uh <clears throat> macro lens to mess around with and um with the camera on the um it's going to be a, a 13 megapixel camera right here on the Alcatel which is going to be pretty good but you're only getting that one camera the other three below it don't have any um, usability so that's the only thing now when it comes to the software inside of both of these devices we are getting android 9 on the Alcatel c17 pro and for the uh, moto g stylus we are actually getting android 10 on board so that's the only thing you, you should know is that when it comes to the uh software you're going to see that we have android 10 on board so that's really cool it also gives you the specs right here you can see we got that 720 by 1560 display on the uh Orcatel. and um the only thing is that i think you're going to get a lot less updates when it comes to the uh Orcatel, uh because it's not really um one of the most powerful devices in the world but you do get a lot of features to mess around with things to play around with and it is a cool device. You got this feature called QR scanner and just a lot of cool features inside of here. It is pretty much stock Android for the most part. Um, you get the 350 finger screenshot and the smart motion for answering and ignoring calls. Now with that Moto the um, phone, you're going to get a lot of features, including the stylo pen to play around with. So you're getting the extra stylus along with the software that you get all your notes and um you know stylus capability when it comes to you know scrolling with the pen and um you know jotting things down and everything like that so you're getting a lot more usability with the moto g stylus now both phones do offer the um usb port for charging where you are getting dual speakers on the moto g stylus for extra a boost in sound so you're going to get an extra boost in sound when it comes to the moto g stylus because you're getting the speaker on the front and on the bottom as well so i think that's pretty cool and um really nice to see that we are getting the extra uh speaker sound quality also you do get a speaker system customized by uh tuned by um adobe but it's not the utmost but it's still actually a nice sound that you're getting from those dual speakers now when it comes to the battery cells on both devices they both are 4000 milliamp hours this one's a 3,900 milliamp hour battery, which is technically a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So, you know, we'll give it that. But um, basically, they're both really stock Android, except for the Moto experience that you're going to be having on the left on the Moto Stylo, Stylo with the Moto gestures and um, a bunch of other cool features. But basically, it's bare bones stock Android and the really nice experience, just to say the least. So if you're looking to pay a few extra dollars for the stylus, extra better screen, um, basically, all I can say is that it has a better processor with the Snapdragon 665. It's going to deliver um, some smoother experiences when it comes to the cameras. So you're going to be able to record in 4K as well, 30 frames in 1080 and 60 frames in 1080. And honestly, you're getting a lot of camera modes to mess around with on the Moto G stylus. So if you're the person who likes to take a lot of photography and you're into that 
and you would like to mess around with some of the different modes that the Moto G stylus offers, such as the slow motion. Um, it also gives you time lapse and macro camera for the mo video modes and just a variety of options here to mess around with. You don't get as many camera options to, to choose from when you're actually using the Alcatel C17 Pro. So you do get bokeh, but um, that's really the best feature on the uh, Alcatel. You do get also another pro option right here to mess around with when you're in photos. But uh, I'd like to say that the uh, Moto G Stylus has this one here by a long shot. So honestly, if that's something that you're into is photography, then honestly, the Moto G Stylus is for you. But um, overall, they do have pretty decent performance and I can't crack down on the um, Alcatel for the price. It's actually really good. So, you know, you are getting some really good cameras for the price. But if you are trying to get an extra additional uh, uh variety of options to choose from on the Motorola which also is going to offer you a lot of variety of features to choose from with the pen stylus and the cameras um, I could definitely say that the Moto G stylus is for you so they do have uh, rear fingerprint sensors which are on the back of both devices as well so let's go see which one is quicker okay so that was pretty quick and they seem to be about the same exact speed let me just try that one more time and they're almost near identical when it comes to that speed so um i could give the uh it's a clear tie right there so when it comes to the fingerprints it's a tie cameras is going to the moto uh hardware it's basically going to the moto with the better cameras better software on the moto as well you're also getting a better display on the Moto. Um, they both have, you know, Bluetooth connection, but you don't get a headphone jack on the Alcatel C17 Pro. And um, basically, when it comes down to it, if you want to be able to um, be more versatile with your device, I would go with the Moto. But if you want to save a little bit more money, then the C17 Pro is for you. Uh, if you just don't want it, if you just want to get a huge display, 6.4 inches with that punch hole cutout but you don't really care about the camera features and everything like that you just want some decent cameras that'll work and do everything as it's advertised and basically you're getting a really good performance as well nice and smooth on the Alcatel C17 Pro then I would recommend this device but if you want to um, kind of push it up maybe get something for photography and um, a nice camera with a lot of dedicated modes for photography then I would definitely say that the Moto G stylus is the one but hopefully you guys did find this helpful appreciate every last one of you for checking this video out and um, let me know if what kind of videos you want to see in the future but I appreciate every last one of you and stay tuned for more videos just like this but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are every night later crew peace